What's up guys, welcome to another Slay This Fire video, and in this video, this video is going to be a little bit different. I want to show you guys, while playing the defects in Ascension 15, is viable to have 40 card decks or more and have them win the game. Now, recently I've been having my decks get larger and larger, 35 cards plus, and these last two runs had 43 cards and 40 cards respectively, and I was thinking to myself, wow, that's a lot of cards, but I think the reason why it works is two things. The defect has a lot of card draw, things like skim, cool headed, maybe things you can find with like reprogram, which can get with hologram, scrape in its own way. You have deck manipulation like seek and reprogram and things like all for one. And the defect also has a lot of powers. So after you play your powers and do all these things, your deck actually is getting slimmer and slimmer. But another thing is one of the reasons why having a bigger deck is not always a bad thing is because there's a defensive card called stack, which by the way, gets stronger and stronger the more cards you have and he has deck manipulation like hologram to get things from your discard all for one to pull and like i said things like scrape reprogram etc but also because he has such good card draw things like skim and he has ways to gain energy like turbo you can often have turns that go on for a long time with skim turbo etc etc even things like reboot and that having a bigger deck is not always a bad thing. I want to show you guys these two boss fights that I had with decks that were over 40 cards. I also want to show you guys how you can farm for bandages. Right now, if you are struggling for health and you're essentially 15, and there are times where you want to get more upgrades, I mean, getting upgrades is amazing, you can do this, which is basically creative AI, echo form, and you just farm for bandages. I'm sure you guys have tried this or I've seen this before, but I wanted to share it with you guys. It's kind of funny. It's kind of crazy. If you're ever in a situation where you have creative AI and you get offered magnetism, creative AI by itself can just enable this as long as you have focus and you can fully defend you're going to get magnetism get echo forms etc etc and before you know it you're going to be full health but without further ado guys hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys do enjoy it feel free to drop a like i'll catch you guys on the next one i'm worried i'm super worried super super worried we're so low in life got dexterity pot we got strength pots all right let's go for it we're getting the storms out The goal, honestly, should have been to, so we really wanted to rebound on the glacier, but I probably even wanted you to rebound on the last defense. That's okay. We do rebounds. We do glacier for, for free. Not for free. For two. I'm going to get rid of the, um, the lightning. Okay. First turn, no problem. It's got to survive 30 now. We don't really have weaken. We got capacitor. Force field, defend, leap. I guess that's good enough. I mean, the leap is, is helping us out. Okay. So we got loop and then defend. Like, so we can do loop. It depends what loop hits, right? Because if loop hits impulse, we'd rather save the impulse after we have apotheosis out, right? So not having apotheosis out kind of sucks. So I don't actually want this to hit impulse. Then we want to do defense stack. And then darkness. But then impulse helps us stay alive because it does... Maybe I want to get rid of M1 impulse. Maybe that's smart to get rid of one impulse. So that make the deck thinner. Because we already have another impulse in the deck, right? And that's the only impulse we have? Oh, man. The fact that we're not getting apotheosis out early is sucky. Really, really sucky. This deck is massive. Holy crap. Which makes stack better, at least. So if we loop, it's gonna... If it hits the impulse, I guess we get four block off impulse. And then we have two energy left over, so we can do defend stack. If it hits darkness, we can still do darkness, defend stack. Impulse before loop. So yeah, impulse before loop makes it so that... Yeah, actually, you know, because... Well, let's see if we, we can defend without that. So if we're doing darkness, we're getting 10, right? Plus defense stack, it's going to be... Uh, 17 plus 18. We're going to defend. We're fine. So we can go ahead and do loop. I wasn't thinking about that situation. <laughs> Okay, fuck. So we take a little bit of damage, but it's not... Oh, no, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. But now I have no frost, right? Now having frost is a little bit painful. So 
So maybe we want to skim to look for Apotheosis. Because Hologram right now is not doing much for us. There it is. Luckily we have Force Fields, but we also have Holograms for the Force Fields, right? So we have 18 plus Hologram for the Force Fields is another 18. Not to mention we can make one of the Holograms free. So now we have Prime, which is a great card draw. So now we're just going to fly through our deck. I'd rather not do Seek now. I mean, we could do Secret Technique. Seek. And then we can Seek, like, the White Noise, the Bias Cognition, and the Zap. And that could be a decent turn for us, right? So here's what we could do. Secret Technique. Seek, right? Let's just do this first. So let's do Seek, the White Noise, Bias Cognition, and I would say the... What was something else, right? The zap. Okay. So, bias condition I think is fine. I think we want bias now because we're channeling so many things and this is doing a decent amount of damage. I think we're fine to do bias now. Yes, I think we're fine. I think we're fine to do bias now. Double bias condition for sure. So what we want to do is make sure we have space in our deck because we're going to be drawing cards right now. And we probably want to hologram either the stack right now or the force field. We probably want to bring back force field, right? I think we got this. We got to make sure we have space for force field. Let's just get that out there anyways. Or maybe, honestly, maybe darkness is better with the bias cognition. You could also argue maybe getting claws. Because I think we're getting good block without the force field. Because Hologram's giving us block, plus... We can always end on a conserved... Okay, we'll do Force Field. Fuck it. So next time we have Thinking Ahead, Leap Cool Headed. I guess that's fine. Maybe we don't like the Axe Kick. Although that's decent damage. Oh, we can bring the Axe Kick now. Put Glacier on top. And we can go ahead and do Zap, right? Get the card draw, which I just totally forgot about. We can do Axic again. We can do Zap again. I think this is a decent turn. I mean, I think the damage is great. We're not doing anything dark related, but we're doing a lot of lightning. I think we should have a good defense now, or we can try to get lethal, right? So we have... Rebound for the leap, and we can do skim leap again, or we can even do claw twice. That was like probably our best turn, just because. Well, double bias cognition is bad because we lose. We have to do as much damage now because we just lost. We're losing two focus per turn, so we got to do a lot of damage now. So we need to find dual cast and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do s rebound leap. So, things like... So, stack is nice, but I would say things like, um... Impulse are pretty important. And might be what I need to get lethal. So, that, let's say I do Impulse now, and it hits the guy on the right. Maybe Darkness is better. It's doing 15 damage, and then it's also... Scaling the Darkness for the... I think Darkness is better. So, if we do Impulse, we're doing 40 damage, but... And then, plus the end of my turn, I might kill the guy on the right. But Darkness, to me... I can't do Darkness Impulse, because I don't have enough energy. And if I do darkness, I'm taking a lot of damage, right? We're looking at 42 damage. We only have um, like 46 life, right? If I do darkness, I'm hoping I get lethal on this guy on the right. Um, either with the evoking plus the passive. There's probably no way I get lethal, actually. I would just stack. Yeah, I think we stacking just better, right? It sucks not to have darkness out with the, the bias cognition. It sucks not to have darkness out with bias cognition. And it sucks that this guy that's about to attack me is the one that's not damaged. But this is a good turn because we've got force field, force field. And now that allows us to do like darkness now. I think darkness is fine now. Is it though? We're taking so much damage. I mean, we're losing so much focus. It's 
Secret technique for dual cast. I feel like we gotta do dual cast and stuff like that ASAP. I think we do things like skim. Look for claws. I can take some damage now just so I can guarantee that this guy's dead, right? We can try to take the risk and hope that the lightning hits him, or we can just strike him and get more damage on this guy. And now we want the dark to scale, and dark's gonna be our way to win. Not to mention we're also gonna be channeling lightning. So we, we have a free turn here. Ideally, we wanna play impulse. We wanna play claws, right? We wanna play... Hologram for the claws as well. So we know what we can do. We can make it so that... Well, unfortunately, we're not going to draw into Hologram because Scrape's going to get rid of it. But we can make it so that we do um, Axe Kick. And Claws. And now, if we do Glacier, we're getting some Frost. So you could argue that maybe this Glacier helps us survive. But if we get anything that can do anything with Dark and Evoking, we're going to have Lethal. We could say maybe conserve battery to have more energy, but I think we're fine. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I forgot I caught card draw. Interesting. How did that happen? Oh, because of... Okay, 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 okay. So we need to find something that gets rid of that. So cool head is lethal. In fact, if we do rebound... Well, actually, we know all we need is dual casts. Oh, so we can do cool headed and then hologram axe kick and we have lethal. That's lethal too. So that was the fattest that can exist in, but guys, we made it come together. 43 cards. Probably the longest one I've ever done. Super long run. My god. I mean, I'm sorry guys. That was a super long run. But I think we talked about a lot of ideas. We had a lot of good thoughts in there. Damn, that was a long run. GG though. We, we pulled through. We pulled through. I think we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. Alright guys, I might... Watch me rush through this fight. I try hard everywhere else, and then this way I rush it. I'm gonna go do the power potions. Got yeah, loop and heat sinks. Okay, we got echo form first turn. All right, that's promising. So I, I kind of want to do heat sinks, echo form, loop. Obviously, I gotta be careful not to give him too much, but uh, we're gonna do glacier. I want to play machine learning, but I think with the echo form, we're feeling pretty good. You gotta be careful with echo form because it is gonna make him go bigger, but. We have things like Madness we can play twice. Well, this is a fight where I just don't want to do anything. Like, I could do self prepared to get out of the cycle. And then I also draw two cards for the heat sinks. So I can draw two cards. But I'd rather just not do anything. Okay. So we can do Conserve Battery twice. For 24 block. We can do the Weaken twice. I think Conserve Battery twice is better. Alright, we do the weaken. We're gonna have 36. If we do impulse, we got another 8 block. Covering most of it. If we do hologram, we can bring back conserve battery again, or even the weaken again. But maybe just do conserve bat uh bring back the the stack or conserve battery again. I just don't know if we if we want to I can save my energy, right? I can save my energy here and take some damage. I don't need to be perfect. I think maybe I should see myself with four cards. There's a way that I can actually proc it so that I proc him now. So I can do hologram, FTL, bring back, go for the eyes, get another weaken, impulse. And then he gets procs, and then I have 12 cards to work with. I think that's better. And... Yeah, he's going to do some damage, but now I have more cards to work with. And this is a good turn, because I have Madness and I have Seek. So, right off the bat, I could do... Well, keep in mind, we have Echo Form, right? So, unfortunately, Echo Form wants you to do Madness by itself. It's strictly better value, right? So, if I do Madness right now by itself, I have a free Skim or free Blizzard. You could argue, okay, free cards are not that good against a time meter when you're just, it's not that important. So what's more important, I would say, is if I use Seek twice, I can bring all for one, potentially get that free, or unfortunately, we don't have any of our holograms, right? So 
we can get creative AI out and get that going because powers are pretty impactful. And now with Echo Form Creative AI, maybe we're going to be so broken it's not going to matter. Imagine, we're going to have things like focus, maybe consumes, capacitors, maybe buffers. At that point, time meter becomes a much easier fight. And this transcends this whole concept of infinite and turns into something more crazy, bonkers, and ridiculous. So we could do that. I mean, creative AI it seems nice. Seems real nice. I actually want to save Defrag for Echo Form. I think that's going to make a big difference. To get rid of Skim? You'd rather get rid of Skim. I think Creative Eyes makes a lot of sense, first off, right? I, I am going to do that. But... We can make it free, or we don't want... Maybe we don't want to waste Madness on that. Since we have Recycle, we can use Recycle to do... Let's say we can use Recycle and get rid of Doom and Gloom. Right? Or we can get rid of... Maybe we get rid of Doom and Gloom. Like, the Dark Orb is potentially nice with the Defrag, and, but I think we're going to do other things. Maybe I shouldn't get rid of the Dark Orb. Beam Soda Serve for the next turn. Well, the things I'm not really pushing for lethal right now. I think I'm pushing for a different way. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking about it wrong, but I'm thinking Creative Eye Echo Form is going to give me a lot of power that perhaps is going to transcend this whole thing I'm trying to do. There was always, there's always the possibility to get all for one on with Madness. If we recycle the skim, we could play Creative AI, play Blizzard, and then we can do Madness on the all for one. And I guess that's always nice to have all for one on the Madness, but is it really that great? So what's the point of having all for one Madness? Not really. You'd rather have it on the... You'd rather have it on the hologram, right? One sec. Okay, we'll do it. Oh, I forgot. Fuck me. I forgot that I drew cards. Whoops. I forgot. Ah, uh, I meant to do Madness on all for one, but because I played Creative Eye, I drew a card. I was gonna play Creative Eye Blizzard and get this for free. That sucks. Uh, I guess it's fine. A little unfortunate. I'm not gonna do anything. A little unfortunate. I got Creative Eye again, really. Okay. Creative Eye twice could be interesting. It really could. I'm taking damage, though. Right? But we draw two cards with this, which is which is fine because we have turbo. Eh, it's still not that great. We're in a situation now where we're gonna have to proc him again. Suppose it's fine. Okay. So now we're gonna get a lot of powers, and this could be bad, it could be good, we'll see. Creative Eye again. Why are you giving me so many powers? I don't think that's getting a little risky at this point. I think this is getting a little risky at this point. <laughs> oh my god, where's the defrag and stuff? Okay, so we do Creative Eye twice again. We have no energy. We have to do Turbo Cool Headed. Right? We're taking 27 damage, but we have Tori, so that can mitigate some of it. If we get Cool Headed twice, we're drawing cards. But then we can't play Defrag twice. We're getting Defrag twice next turn, which I think is really important. So I'm going to go ahead and do Cold Snap twice, maybe. Double Loop. So Double Loop is giving me card draw, and playing Powers is making it so that I draw Defrag, and I want to get Defrag Echo Formed. I think this is going to be an impact, impactful power. Looping twice was going to draw Defrag, probably. I mean, there's a chance that it doesn't. I mean, maybe who cares? If it draws Defrag, whatever. Wow, we got blessed. We got blessed. Okay. That's actually good, because... Okay, so we're taking lots of damage. Maybe that's not okay. We're taking 19 damage. I could do Scrape and try to have a longer turn here. 
Yeah, I had Echo Form, so exactly. So I had Echo Form defrag next turn. And I could, so if I want to do a defrag twice next turn, I take the damage now, which is 19 damage, and then I get defrag twice. And that already is making me block a lot more. You know? Whereas, if I want to block more right now, I could do Cool Headed, draw into it, then play defrag anyways. So if I want to mitigate more damage, I do Turbo, Cool Headed, get more Frost, defrag anyways. And we can argue that we're going to get defrag from the creative AIs. So this is potential four focus next turn, or I could say I don't feel comfortable taking 19 damage. I'm gonna do cool headed defrag now and block more damage. But I think having upgraded defrag play twice is pretty important in the long run. So I'm, I'm just gonna be with my gut here. Take 19 damage. Okay. We got buffer twice too. Oh, we got defrag again anyways. So now we're gonna have focus for days, right? I kinda wanna play defrag again and we could be even more greedy and be like, you know what? I'm gonna make this twice, but you know what? It's not worth it. So let's do panache. At this point now things are getting crazy. We got defrag. Now we're just asking for capacitors. We got the panache. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do madness. Got the buffer, that's fine. I could have done Madness on the Meter Strike. Actually, wait! I had a potential Madness twice on... Ah, uh, I missed the opportunity. There's so many things I could do, it's crazy. Let's play the... Play the Panache. I mean, Panache is not... I, if I'm playing Panache, I'm not playing this right. At this point, we're proccing this guy. I suppose that happens. I suppose that happens. Fifty-seven. We got buffer for that. It's fine. Matter of fact, I can go ahead and do. Whoa! This could be the time where we do madness twice. Well, here's the thing. There's probably a way I can do madness and all for one, and we just don't. <laughs> There's so many things that I can do. This is crazy, guys. I can do defrag twice and say, you know what? I have buffer. I'm gonna defrag twice, and I'm happy with that. I could also just do defrag twice and then glacier, and I can probably block most of it. I don't know how much I'm blocking, but it seems like a lot. Like defrag twice is giving me nine. When I evoke, it's 12. Glacier's giving me 10 plus 12, 22, plus the 14 I already have. Hmm. I need to weaken him. So, where's my weaken? The weaken's right here with all for one, right? The weaken will help. If I, if I do... Double Glacier is strong. I do have Blizzard. Yeah, Double Glacier is strong. It is strong. It will give me more frost and I have blizzard. I can scale up the blizzard. But I wasn't thinking blizzard was something I want to play around. I mean, I do have blizzard, but you think double glacier is worth it for that? As opposed to the focus? Yeah, so if it's not full, it's not worth defending, right? So I could actually make him... We can just do double madness and see what it hits. If it hits all for one in glacier, you're feeling good about it. Defrag, he's hitting hard, yes, but the thing is, if I do defrag twice, right? Alright. I have, I have all for one for the weekend, plus we also have... There's potential for us to get madness on something. If I do glacier... I'm not defending in full. I have 18 plus 12 plus 10. It's 44, so if I... If I can potentially bring madness on all for one, then we're fine. I'm just gonna do madness anyways. Got stack. Okay, so now maybe we're pushing for. Now we can full defense. That's fine. I don't really want to use sadistic nature, but it's like it's gonna clog my cycle. Yeah, we have more than enough block actually. But yeah, now we're gonna kind of get kind of crazy. I feel like you could argue that maybe double magnetism or double machine learning. Now we get tons of card draw. Maybe I just skip here. I do double glacier. I'm making the. Blizzard bigger. That's always a win condition. <laughs> Magnetism giving me colors cards, but that's colors cards are not impactful in this fight. Machine learning from a card draw. And we can do a scrape. Nah, actually, actually, I want to scrape because I don't want all the zero cost cards for the next turn. I got rid of hologram though. I probably should have pushed him there. We still have buffer though, so we're fine. We got echo form again, twice. 
But at that point, you're playing way too many cards. So we're not even taking damage, are we? Like, not really. We can do Doom and Gloom twice. Get the Dark Scaling. With the focus, Doom and Gloom twice is good. I like it. I like it. So we can go get the weekend with the hologram and we're we call it a day. I like it. I like it a lot. We got the scaling going and now we can use that for lethal. I mean there's so many different things. Even Blizzard's doing stuff. This deck is very versatile. We have more defrags, so now we got even more scaling on the dark. We got Blizzard twice, not that strong. I like the defrag again. You could argue that double panache is gonna be really good too. Let's do defrag again. Now we don't have frost, right? We have Doom and Gloom to evoke this. We have triple dark going. We got all for one. All for one, we could do some crazy stuff here. All for one, we could do some crazy stuff. So machine learning draws cards. I think Doom, Doom and Gloom is doing enough block. Like, I'm just going to do Doom and Gloom just to get that dark cycling, right? Scaling, rather. And I suppose we could do machine learning just to get card draw. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and try to proc him. Bias Cognition is perfect. Now the dark scaling like crazy. Matter of fact. Matter of fact. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cold snap to get the frost. Just once. Let the dark cycle with a loop. I just wanna get some frost so I don't take too much damage. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, proc him. Very good defense. We have defrags and bias cognition so we're getting a lot of scaling. We can go back and now we have now we have bias cognition twice and capacitors. So we are looking amazing. Matter of fact, Dark Orbs are gonna be so strong, it's unbelievable. I could do the capacitor twice, so now we have glacier and get some more frost. In fact, I'm I'm probably gonna do that. So now we got glacier just to get some more frost, right? Which means I can't do the the bias cognition, but I think it's not gonna matter because Glacier's gonna cover it anyways. We could, we could argue that Bias Cognition twice is better, and then we could do Stack right after, and then we're feeling pretty good. And then the Dark Orb's gonna be insane. Because once I get Dual Cast twice, it's GG. Next turn, GG. Dual Cast twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Easy. Easy. Dual quest, dual, dual quest, dual, dual cast is GG. GG. 122 twice, 96 twice, GG. Oh, okay, this is a long ass run. I'm sorry, guys, another two hour run. I've been taking some long ass time, but we got a win streak. Got a win streak. Very long run. Very fun run, though. I do like it. Time meter didn't, didn't mess me up this time. And, 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 so let me get the glasses. Let's get this little, uh, Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful. You see, so when you when you when you think about longevity, you think about things like Echoform Creative AI. It just adds a lot of different things we could do. That was a two-hour run. <laughs> Defects, man. Now it's complicated, but it takes a long time. It's not going two hours, guys. But we're gonna we're gonna speed up right now. And now we just got the focus, so now we're good. Now we're good to go. There's the magnetism. See, it's already easy. We got two magnetisms out. No problem. Look, we already got it. Easy, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. In no time, two mag we're gonna even get lucky. We're gonna find bandage up the first couple times. Watch, we're gonna see. Okay, never mind. But um, okay. So let's do blinds. Okay, I I'm gonna keep. Oh, transmutation though. E. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled so I don't miss the bandage up. You were just finding up panache for days. There, I saw one. I saw it. Okay, we want to get that bandage up. Okay. So that what that means for me is that we need to go ahead and either redraw that or get hologram. Which we're not gonna get because we're not drawing into our own cards. We 
Wait, that's actually really bad. So, since we're not drawing to our own cards... Okay, that makes the bandage up upgraded. Ooh, what we're gonna have to do is something. Let me see. Eek. I don't want to do Flash of Steel. Okay. Hmm. It's okay. Yeah, I need Secret Skill. Exactly. Yep, yep, yep. Secret Weapon, Secret Skill. Nope, nope. None of these things. None of these things. Problem with that is that I won't get the full value out of the Echo Form. There it is. Oh, wow, what a turn. Holy moly. The game heard you and they said, you know what? We'll, we'll end your misery, guys. Perfect. Okay. There it is. Whoa, dude. Okay, you guys are getting impatient. It pays off. GG.